Colorado is building a dam, and it's building at a time when most dams across the U.S. are being demolished. This will be the largest dam in the country in the last 25 years and can hold enough water to fill up 45,000 Olympic pools. That's the scale we are talking about. So beyond the obvious reasons, why is Colorado pursuing dams when the rest of the world is tearing them apart? And at the end of the day, will it be worth it? The project is called the Chimney Hollow Reservoir. It's located west of Carter Lake in Larimer County, Colorado. The reservoir will have a height of 350 feet, making it the third largest dam in the state and one of the tallest on the Colorado Front Range. Colorado is one of the fastest growing regions in America. By 2050, it will have almost 8.7 million people. Counties like Larimer or Weld alone are forecasted to double their population in the upcoming years. Keeping that in mind, the state is trying to secure its water future. The dam could store up to 90,000 acre feet of water for the next 100 years to come. This would be enough to supply six front range communities of about 800,000 people. So where does the reservoir get this much water from? The water for Chimney Reservoir comes from the Colorado River on the Western Slope. This is the trajectory of the water flow. Water is diverted from the Colorado River to the nearby Windy Gap Reservoir. From there, the water is pumped to Lake Granby, which ultimately empties in the Chimney Reservoir system. Some of Colorado's Front Range communities haven't had their own water storage. Instead, their water is stored in another reservoir, and when there isn't space for their water, they don't get access to it. And that's a problem this project aims to address. In the beginning, we discussed whether the Chimney Hollow Reservoir would be worth it, especially as it's being constructed at a time when most dams across the U.S. are being demolished. In 2023 alone, around 80 dams are planned to be removed. One of them is the Klamath Dam Removal Project. This project will remove four dams from the Klamath River. We have created a dedicated video about this, so if you're interested, you can watch this after this one. These dams, like most across the U.S., are being removed due to their old age and little efficiency. The average age of a dam in America is 60 years. More than 8,000 dams in this country are past that age. So at this point, maintaining these ancient giants is a lot more expensive than removing them. But how is America planning to fill the energy gap? The dams being taken down produce little to no energy and also disturb the ecosystem. In the case of the four Klamath dams, they together produce 169 megawatts. To put this into perspective, the Hoover Dam alone generates 2,000 megawatts. The energy produced by Klamath dams only makes up for 2% of the supply. So in theory, it's not a hard task to fill the energy gap. America is also heavily investing in solar and wind power to make up for the lost hydroelectricity. As far as the Chimney Reservoir is concerned, it has an entirely different purpose, water security. The reservoir will provide clean, drinkable water to northeastern Colorado, even during drought. Given how fast Colorado is growing, it's inevitable that the state will have a water crisis if no action is taken. Take the example of California. It's the most populous state in America and is currently undergoing a water crisis. The recurring droughts combined with climate change have made the situation much worse. As a last resort, California has to invest in billion-dollar projects to avert the crisis. So it's smart for Colorado to prepare in advance in light of what's happening to other states. The Chimney Hollow Reservoir is expected to cost $568 million. This cost is divided among 12 water providers in cities like Broomfield, Loveland, Longmont, and others. The cost would be indirectly passed to water users via rate increases over time, although no direct tax has been announced. Given the urgency of the project, let's discuss how this monster is actually being constructed. The reservoir has a surface area of 740 acres and will require three years to fill it with water completely. It features an asphalt core to hold back the water. The asphalt core acts as a waterproof barrier preventing water from leaking through the dam. Most dams across America are made up of traditional clay. In fact, the Chimney Reservoir is the second asphalt dam in America. The other is the Silver Basin Dam in Arizona. Around five years ago, the engineers decided that Chimney Hollow would have an asphalt core with a rock fill shell. The reason for this was less of an engineering concern 
and more of a logistic one. You see, whenever a rock-filled dam is constructed, the rocks are typically sourced from the construction site itself. Typically, dams on the Colorado Front Range have been made with clay, but there's not enough fine-grained clay in the area where Chimney Reservoir is located. So asphalt was the last option. The asphalt would be laid on what's known as the core wall. On both sides, the core is flanked with normal rocks. Looking at the workers laying the core, it does resemble road construction. But the asphalt used here is not the same as the one used for road construction. It's not brittle and has a very high bitumen that provides that watertight ability. All the materials used for construction, including concrete and asphalt, are produced on site. The team produces around 62,000 tons of material per day, making it one of the largest quarries in Colorado. There's a dedicated lab for checking the condition of asphalt before it's used up for construction. With two testing labs on site, technicians perform around 400 tests a week to ensure that all the material is of the highest quality. There are more than 200 asphalt core dams in the world. European engineers started using this technique to build reservoirs in the Alps, where there was also a lack of clay. Europe's expertise in building such dams is why the project has involved a European subcontractor. The path to building the chimney hollow hasn't been smooth. Water is always a controversial topic since there's so little out of it and the demand is ever rising. The Colorado River Basin is under a level of strain it hasn't experienced in more than a millennium. Colorado is built on a system of moving water around. About 80% of Colorado's water falls on the western slope of the Rocky Mountains. However, the majority of the population lives on the eastern side of the mountains. For a century and a half, people have relied on a system of canals and tunnels that shuttle water across and through the mountains. This includes diversions like the Colorado Big Thompson Project, which transports water across the Continental Divide. It consists of around 11 reservoirs and about 18 dams and dikes. Even though reservoirs like these are crucial for the existence of millions, it's silly to construct them when you don't have the water to fill them. That's the argument of most environmental groups that oppose the Chimney Hollow Project. Residents living near lakes and rivers also oppose this project. Some of these water bodies will be rerouted in the future to supply Chimney Hollow. In Grand County, opponents argue that reducing water levels in nearby rivers and lakes could cause algae blooms and jeopardize recreation businesses. These disagreements are the reason why the project took more than two decades to realize. Chimney Hollow was first proposed in 2003 as part of the Windy Gap project. After a 14-year permitting process, the federal agencies approved the plan in 2017. However, in the same year, environmental groups such as Save the Colorado and Wild Earth Guardians filed a federal lawsuit against the project. In 2021, a settlement was reached for $15 million. The agency behind the project agreed to spend this amount on addressing water quality and ecological concerns. Construction started the same year and the reservoir is on track to be completed by the summer of 2025. For the past few years, a team of 500 individuals has worked tirelessly to make this possible. Work on the reservoir never stops. The crew works in two shifts during the day for six days a week. Here's a simple breakdown of what they have been working on. This is the chimney hollow site from a height. In the middle, there's the main dam. To the right of the dam is the spillway. To its left, we have the saddle dam. To the north of the dam, we have open space that's owned by Larimer County. The inlet pipes bring in water from Carter Lake and store them in the main reservoir. In the same way, the outlet pipes release water from the reservoir for community use. The spillway serves as an emergency release channel for the water. If the water level gets too high in the reservoir, it will have a safe escape route. Since the spillway will be handling a large amount of water, it has to be super strong to withstand that pressure. That's why it consists of concrete and forms a 3,600 feet long structure. Next, we have the saddle dam. This is located 2.5 miles away from the main dam. Basically, the saddle dam works as a secondary dam that increases the water level in the main reservoir. Like all saddle dams, this one is also located at a relatively lower elevation, hence achieving a height of only 40 feet. Unlike the main dam, the saddle dam has a clay core that's 30 feet wide at its base. While it may look smaller in size, don't let that distract you. It actually costs a whopping $10 million to build. 
Without it, the main dam won't be able to hold water at its full capacity. You see, the Chimney Hollow Reservoir is located in a natural valley, but some lower elevation areas around it could allow water to escape. The Saddle Dam closes off these low points and prevents the water from spilling over. It allows the reservoir to store 27,000 more acre-feet of water than it would without the dam. The last stop is the Larimer County Open Space. It's directly adjacent to the Chimney Hollow Reservoir. The site has a total area of 1,800 acres. This makes it more than double the size of the Chimney Reservoir itself. Larimer County acquired this site in 2004 to protect natural resources and provide future public access. For the past four years, extensive construction has been carried out in this area. The open space will serve as a support for the regional ecosystem and heal some of the damage done. The area features a diverse topography. In some places, there are pine forests, and in others, there are shrub lands interspersed with meadow habitats. The site will have public access in the future, but no overnight use will be allowed. Along the reservoir, only wakeless boating is allowed to further protect the area. What are your thoughts on the project? Will Chimney Reservoir be enough to secure the future of Northern Colorado? Tell us in the comments. As America tackles its water crisis, different states are looking for various ways to solve their issue. In the case of California, the state is spending more than $20 billion to fix its issue. Learn how in this next video,